On the Adi Yogi statue, you sometimes had mentioned that there are three dimensions you wanted to capture. Uh, one is that exuberance of life, um, stillness of life, and intoxication of life. And therefore, you took it to 87 feet and then 102. What are these three dimensions and how are they relevant uh, for our day to day life? Uh, just broadly, if you could. Uh, See, let me know. Anything you wish to do. You must have some exuberance, otherwise how will you do it? Yeah, passion, which is, is the same no, thing? No, passion is just one aspect. Exuberance and passion are See, not the one and the same? No, exuberance is more fundamental. When you were a child, you were not passionate about anything right. particular, but you were exuberant. Exuberance. Anything you could do because that exuberance… Source of happiness. Yeah. Yes. Passion means it's already gotten hooked up to something. Right. This is not hooked up to anything, it's just life exuberance, effervescent life. Stillness. stillness, because if there's no stillness, exuberance will become a disturbance. All right. It will become instability over a period of time. People, this happens to a lot of people, at their young age, they're simply ha ha ha, ho ho ho, giggling. Suddenly one day go into depression. You've heard so many people like yeah, that. I, I also heard about a bipolar disease which happens yes. periodically. So this is because there is no stillness. There is exuberance, but there is no stillness. Balance. Exuberance is more mental and emotional, we are talking about life exuberance. Every cell in the body is exuberant. Now we can prove this, we have a, you know, research center in the Harvard Medical School where they are studying these things and showing how on the cellular level, a different level of exuberance, the genetic level, a different level of exuberance, the, you know, the, uh, the B BDNF factors are like seventy percent higher. Cannabinoids are seventy percent higher, endocannabinoids are seventy percent higher. So you're exuberant on a cellular level. You're, see, you're enthusiastic, not because in your mind you're interested in something. Simply, you're on. This is important. If you're on like this, whatever is needed today, you can do. If you're passionate, only one thing you can do. If somebody asks you to do something else, you cannot do. Mm -hmm. So, if I can do this, I cannot do that. One way, it's a way of crippling life, isn't it? So exuberance is important. But if exuberance is not backed by absolute stillness within you, exuberance will become, Disturbance. as you say, bipolar or whatever you want to call it, it'll get there. And intoxication, intoxication is very important. If you are not intoxicated, you can't go through this world uns unscathed. Yes, right now you understand intoxication only as alcohol or drug or something, the problem with that is, I have no moral issue with that, but the problem with that is it takes away your awareness. Mm -hmm. You're not conscious. So, to be absolutely intoxicated and be super alert, if this is possible, is fantastic. That's what this is. How is this possible? Now we can show you, there are studies, if you're interested, you can look it up. There are studies to show how the very chemistry itself, as I said, seventy percent increase with inner engineering program, seventy percent increase in the production of anandamide and endocannabinoids. So you're always stoned out. <laughs> so nothing, nothing really takes a toll on you. Any kind of activity, any amount of activity doesn't take a toll on you. You're on, on, on. It doesn't take a toll on you. Everybody's, you know, I'm as a part of this safe soil thing, the Swiss tourism, you know, ministry supported us. So, they asked me to do this, so I was doing some videos for them to promote certain places in Switzerland. So, in, I was in near Lausanne where there's one lake and they wanted to promote that as a tourist destination. As I was doing this, this official asked me, Sadhguru, where do you take vacation? I said, what is that? <laughs> what is a vacation? I don't know what's a vacation because I'm on and on and on. And it doesn't take a toll because anyway, I'm fully stoned <laughs> all the time. This is the greatest chemical factory on the planet. Do you agree with me? I agree with Most you. sophisticated and most Absolutely. complex. So question is only now, are you a good manager or are you a lousy manager of this factory? If you are a good manager, would you create pleasant chemicals within you or unpleasant chemicals? Yes, pleasant chemicals. That's all. So for this, we have a system. How to make your chemistry blissful?